All right, Shalom, Shalom. Before I begin, we start out by giving all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach and, of course, where I learn this truth. Peace and salutations to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai's elect, the house of David. All right, today is February 22nd, year 2022, the year Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai's turn up. All right, it's your brother Yahweh Cunning. All right, uh, I just want to come out and prophesy a bit. Lord willing to be edifying. All right, and uh, you know what I'm saying? A lot of things are going on. All right, uh, before I left the house, you know what I'm saying? Here in my city, right now it's 4.30. Uh, before I left the house, uh, they were talking about on the news about uh, the sanctions that they're putting on, on, the, on the bear. All right, the Russians. All right, uh... You had the Ukrainian uh, minister, and um, there was another one of those other ministers from another one of the uh, NATO nations, I'm thinking. All right, and they were just speaking on um, how, the, how the world is going to come together against the bear, all right, and uh, so on and so forth. You know what I mean? Um, the World War Three drums are beating, all right? The scripture said it would be that way. Before our Lord and Savior returned, all right? That's Matthew 24. All right, give me one second. And Lord willing, y'all can hear me. That wind is ripping up pretty good. All right, give me one second. I'm thinking it's Matthew 24 and 6 when it says, You shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. All right, let me make sure, though. Right, Matthew, yeah, 24 and verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye are not troubled. I mean, yeah, see that see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. All right, so these things have to happen before Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, all right, returns, all right? You know what I'm saying? Um, And all kind of shit before that's going to take place, all right? Uh, Jacob's trouble. <clears throat> it's going to take place. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Uh, all our hell is going to break loose in the shores of America. On the shores of America. All right. And the only people who are going to be protected from it is the Lord's elect. All right. Two, uh, two thirds of the Lord's people, which would be you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So, like, if I stumbled over that part. All right. You're going to be put to death. All right. And meet your undoing. During this time, all right, and um, the one third, which represents the house of David, all right, is gonna be preserved and protected, all right, during these times. Okay, let's go to uh, Second Ezra 15. All right, I'm gonna start from the top at verse one. It say, "Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth," saith the Lord. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. All right, the incredulity means the, the unbelief. Verse 4, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold the Lord. I mean, behold, saith the Lord. I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. All right. Verse 6, for wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. All right. The scriptures tell you that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked in Job 9 and 24. Um, uh, Malachi 1 and 4 tells you who the wicked is, which is Esau. All right. They're the border of wickedness, meaning uh, they're the border of wickedness, and the people who the Lord had indignation forever. All right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it. They follow it. So Esau is going to be in rulership in the last days when Yahweh Shai returns. All right. To take him out of rulership. All right. So verse 7, it says, Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them and those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. But innocent and righteous blood cried unto me. The souls of the just complain continually. All right. 
Verse 9, And therefore, saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people, you Israelites, is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. All right, this Egypt that is speaking of is America. All right, Egypt in the scriptures is uh, synonymous with slavery. All right, the definition of Egypt is the house of bondage. All right, that's why in Deuteronomy 28 and 68, the Lord said he was going to bring us into captivity again on ships. He's going to bring us into Egypt again on ships. All right, the first time we went into Egypt, we walked. Uh, we walked into Egypt and out of ancient We walked into ancient Egypt We walked out of ancient Egypt But this Egypt, this house of bondage We, we, we were brought here on slave ships Alright The northern kingdom came over here after the kingdom split Alright And uh, they came over here on ships as well Alright And Esau took them down first And then they went to the west coast of Africa and, You know what I'm saying Got the, the southern kingdom alright Cause that's where we were at all right, you know what I'm saying? After we were ran out of Jerusalem, all right? And we were brought here on slave ships, all right? The transatlantic slave trade, all right? That's what happened to the Lord's people. So you fakes over there in that land right now, you don't fit these prophecies, all right? The Lord didn't put you in captivity on ships, all right? You're not even in captivity to this day because the scripture said the Lord's people would be in captivity until the Lord returned. All right, the Lord ain't returned yet. So how are you, how are you back in that land if you're the people of that land, all right? So continuing on in second there's just 15 verse 10 to say behold my people is led as a flock to the slaughter I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt verse 11 but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy y'all the land thereof so the Lord said he's gonna smite Egypt with plagues like he did ancient Egypt all right so the Lord's gonna smite America with the same plagues you know what I'm saying? Is he, is he smitten ancient Egypt, right? Except they're going to be highly intensified, all right? Verse 12, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that Yahweh Bashmael shall power shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fail through the blasting in hell with a fearful constellation. I mean, and with a fearful constellation, all right? Verse 14, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. All right, it said the world. All right, verse fifteen for their for the sword and their destruction draw it not, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. All right, that's coming to this to this place. All right, you people are getting ready to fight each other. All right, the grocery stores are gonna be empty. <clears throat> it's not gonna be a whole lot of food. All right, you people are just gonna have to get it how you live out here. All right, and Lord willing, y'all can hear me. I'm covering up that uh, my speaker. So the, uh, the wind doesn't really get up in the Lord with you. You can hear me still. All right. It's a, um, verse 16, <clears throat> verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions. Shall stand in their power. All right. So these, these people over here in America, they're not going to be listening to the politicians. All right. The governors and senators. All right. Hell, they not gonna listen to the police. They not gonna listen to none of that, all right? Verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. All right, that's martial law, all right? Esau, so-called white man, the American E, is gonna have to use uh, the military to police this society, all right? Like your, uh... Verse 18, for because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. All right. He said the city's going to be troubled, all right. Verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right, so lucky. Like all right, but it said great tribulation, all right. Tribulation means suffering, all right. Great suffering. It's coming to this place, all right, known as America, all right? While America is putting sanctions on Russia, all right, the Lord is, is uh, getting ready to, to, to put holy hell on America, all right? You know what I'm saying? The, the scriptures tell you it's going to get so bad that it's going to be uh, as though it, it's going to be like, um, it's like your damn 12 and 1 tell you it's going to get so bad. It's going to be like um, a time is, since it was never a nation. 
It's luck, y'all butchered it. Let me read it. All right. This is Daniel chapter 12 and verse 1. It's saying, at that time, the time that it's speaking of is Jacob's trouble. Shall, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since. There was a nation even to that same time, and at that and at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book, all right, the elect, all right, you know what I'm saying, it's going to be so bad that Mike Allah, the archangel, is going to have to stand up, all right, you know what I'm saying, the men of the Lord are going to get spiritual power, all right, the angels are going to defend men of the Lord, all right, you know what I'm saying, the men of the Lord are going to be protected, all right. Two thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, you're go, you're not gonna be afforded that luxury. All right, you're gonna have to get out here, all right, and get it how you live. All right, you know what I'm saying? You gonna have to get it in blood, like that Pooh Shiesty nigga say. All right, you know what I mean? All right, continuing on. All right, let me see. Um. read this also in Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7 which I've been openly quoting it but I'm going to read it verbatim it say uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7 at last for that day is great so that none is like it it is even the time of Jacob's trouble but he shall be saved out of it alright now he that is speaking of is the elect alright the one third alright the house of David alright the house of Saul represent the two thirds alright they're not going to make it out of this, all right? Whether they hey, get killed in the beginning of Jacob's trip or whether they make it to the very end, all right, and eat a missile, all right? Just know that they spirits are not going to be delivered up into the chariot and they're going to have to be burned up on this side, all right? They're going to have to, uh, as it says in 2nd Exodus 9, they're going to have to learn that death by pain, all right? <sighs> Y'all forgive me, it's, it's cold as hell out here, you know what I'm saying? That wind gets to blowing in it, uh, you know what I'm saying, it can make your mouth dry, alright, that's why I keep, you know what I'm saying, look at my lips, alright, forgive me though, uh, and you know what I'm saying, I got the camera all up on me, forgive me, you know what I'm saying, it's just, that wind gets to blowing so fucking hard, alright, that if I'm not right up on the camera, you're not gonna hear me, alright, so I have to do it this way, alright, for the time being, but Lord willing, you know what I'm saying, it's edifying, alright, Alright, and that bastard is Esau. Alright, Amalek. Alright. And that's why it's still war in that land. 
All right, there's no peace in that land. There's never going to be peace in that land until the Lord burns that shit up to us because it's not holy anymore. All right, it's been tried down by the Gentiles. All right? And that place has to be burned up the same way America has to be burned up. All right? America is never going to be inhabited again. All right, you, you heathen, starting with Esau, you're going to build up the people. Six, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reaching unto the clouds, yet shall he perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? All right, because Esau is going down. All right, the red light is going down. All right, like cable guy going down, down, down. The red light is going down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My brother Gabor Adama, he always, uh. He always sings that when he sees uh, certain videos I do. Going down, down, down. Red Knights going down. All right, Esau. All right, you going down. All right, um, it said that nigga's going to uh, perish like his own dung. All right, Esau going to perish like some shit. All right, you know what I mean? Verse 9, the eye also which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more behold him. All right, his heaven. All right, Esau's in his heaven right now. This is his this is his rulership. All right, this is his heaven and this is our hell. All right, but the scripture said the elder shall serve the younger, and the elder was Esau. All right, the first came out red, and they called his name Esau. And then came out his brother Jacob. All right, Jacob is the the world to come. All right. So continuing on. Um, Verse 10, his children shall seek to please the poor, his hands shall restore their goods. All right, you got a lot of Edomites right now. It's a lot of shameful spewing on these devil's glory, all right? You got a lot of Edomites coming out talking about they're ashamed of their grandparents. They're ashamed of their, uh, the things that their nation of people have done. All right, they're, uh, they're scared because they think you jakes feel like all of you so-called white people 
or part of the KKK. All right, it's just a lot of shit coming out. All right, Esau feels it in his bones. The judgment is coming. All right, and it is coming. All right, you goddamn devil, it is coming. All right, there ain't shit you can do about it. All right, verse eleven. His bones are full of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. All right, because every time these Edomites come back in every generation, they're wicked. All right, Psalms fifty-eight and three tell you the wicked go astray from the womb as soon as they be born. All right, uh, the the verse the verse up above it tell you uh, yeah, in heart you work. You work wickedness. You drink the cup of violence. All right, these Edomites are violent ass people. <laughs> all right, it's lucky for that. I'm saying you heard me hawking. Let me see. Let me get that right quick. Psalms 58. All right, we playing Hebrew hopscotch. All right, jumping around. <laughs> all right, Psalms 58 and two. Yeah, and horrid. Ye work wickedness. Ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. Alright, verse 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear. Alright. Verse 5. Which will not hearken to the voice of charmers, charming never so wisely. Break their teeth, O power, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Lord, Yahweh by Shemiah Let them melt away as waters which run continually, which, when he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be as cut in pieces. Alright? That's what's coming to you, goddamn devils, alright? As a snail which melted, let every one of them pass away. Let the untimely birth of a woman that may not. See the sun. All right. So now let me go back to where I was at. Uh, one second, I can. Yeah, back to Job twenty. All right. Oh snap! Slack it. Go back to Job twenty. Alright, Job 20, verse 12, it says, Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue, though he spare it and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth. Alright. Verse 14, yet his meat in his bowels is turned. It is the gall of asp within him. Alright. Uh, asp is a, is a serpent, a snake. Alright. And Esau is a fucking snake. Alright. The same spirit that was in that man. The serpent that was in the garden is the same spirit that's in Esau today. Alright. Verse 15. He has swallowed down riches. And he shall vomit them up again. And God shall cast them out of his belly. Alright. He shall suck the poison of ass with the viper's tongue shall slay him. Alright. So all of the stealing and killing and rape, robbing, murder, and pillaging that Esau has done on this earth. Alright. It's going to be taken from him. Alright. His place is no more gonna behold him, alright? That nigga's going into slavery. Alright, that nigga's gonna be killed. In pits of the earth, alright? That's where it's gonna that's where his holding tank is gonna be, alright? You know what I'm saying? In the kingdom, Esau is gonna be kept in, in, in pits, alright? Like the, the snake that he is, alright?
me see where we going down. Um, Go to Jeremiah 23. All right, at 29, it say, "It's not my word like as a fire," said the Lord Yahweh, by Shimei Shai, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. All right, and that's what this word does. All right, this word breaks people into pieces. All right, it's, it's breaking this the rulership of this world up. All right, uh, Hebrews 4 and 12 tell you that the word of the Lord is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing to the dividing asunder of bone and marrow, and is a discerner of the spirit. All right, and your your inner person is revealed. All right, and it does that to people, but it also, you know what I'm saying, it sets a vibration throughout this world. All right, that's bringing on the judgment. All right, this word has been going out. All right, uh, going all the way back to Abba Bivens. All right, all the way to now. All right, and a lot of stuff is is coming. All right. It's like brothers is in um is in overdrive mode right now. All right, there's so many videos coming out. It's impossible to keep up. All right, it's impossible to catch every video that a brotherhood drops. All right, you know what I'm saying? You can catch it. You can sit up on YouTube. Say you had 12 hours of free time to yourself the whole day, and you want to just dedicate it to the to doing the work. All right, you still wouldn't be able to keep up and catch all of the lessons come out, all right, from the apostles and elders and the men of Great Millstone, all right, the true prophets of the Bible, all right, uh, this, 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 this is like, uh, like, uh, King David said, um, living waters, uh, the cup overfloweth, all right, this word is, it's overflowing, all right, and it's all over, all right, it's accessible and all of that for the time being, all right, but here pretty soon, all right, the word is not going to be accessible, all right. Because, uh, hey, it, it seems and it feels like the elect is, is about sealed, if not already sealed, all right? And once that happens, all right, it's, it's no more talking, all right? That's Amos 8 and 11. It say, Behold, the days, behold, the days come, said the Lord God, Yahweh Bashem, I was that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor of thirst of water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh All right, and then once that happens, then the Lord brings the famine of bread. All right, because that's that famine is coming as well. All right, the scriptures tell you, My servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. My servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Uh, my servant shall rejoice. All right, but uh, you know what I'm saying if you ain't rejoicing, you're gonna be moaning. Right, and we here for it. All right, you know what I'm saying. Lord willing, this is the year. All right, you know what I'm saying, Lord willing, this is the year that 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 Yahweh Bashim Yahushai puts it in in Pooh's mind to think that evil thought. All right, puts it on puts it on on them Russians' mind. All right, to come fuck you Americans up. All right, puts it on. On them, on them gooks' mind to, 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 to hate you fuckers the two, all right? Because the scriptures tell you how all the nations are going to join on with Russia and how Russia's going to be a guard to the nations, all right? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Iran is going to be joined with Russia. China's going to be joined with Russia. All right, shit, in the end, even NATO and the EU, they're going to turn on America, all right? So this, this horror is going to be left to fend for a goddamn self, all right? And she ain't gonna be able to do it, all right? You know what I'm saying? You see the state of you American people today? All right, everybody's all fucking weak, all right? This is the weakest caliber of, of men that this earth has ever seen, all right? The scriptures tell you this is a, a, a perverse generation, all right? This is a wicked-ass generation, all right? You know what I'm saying? Um... Uh, Going to something personal, all right. That, that I that that I've had encountered the, the here of recent. All right. Uh. So um, I went and got a haircut at one night, and the, and, the, and the dude that cuts my hair, you know what I'm saying? He's one of my partners from the world. All right. Now uh, 
all my friends, you know what I'm saying, of the world, we ain't cool like we used to be, but, you know what I'm saying, when I gotta do what I gotta do, like, do this, like, your haircut and shit, of course, I'm gonna go holler at him and shit, alright, so, you know what I'm saying, um, I went over there, you know what I'm saying, I got a haircut, and one of my, uh, one of my cousins came over there and shit, alright, and you know what I'm saying, they just got the talking and shit, and I'm right there in the midst, in the midst of it, so, and I listen to the conversation, alright? And the and, and, and the listen to the things that these weak ass niggas was talking about. You know what I'm saying? I was just looking at them like, man, you niggas are fucking weak, alright? These niggas is talking about uh somehow or another we got on the subject of children, alright, of, of, of small kids, alright, you know what I'm saying? not small children as toddlers, but children, alright, under the age of twelve. <sighs> alright. You know what I'm saying? So uh we got on that conversation on that subject and we was just talking all right and they was like uh my partner he was like man I, i'm to the point now where i don't even whoop my damn kids no more i'm tired of that shit that, that shit don't do nothing for them you know what i'm saying it didn't do nothing for me when i was little so i don't even know where i'm going to fight i ain't doing that shit for i was like nigga what you mean you ain't do that you ain't do that to you he was like man he's like think about it bro you know jake think he fucking real philosophical and shit he was like think about it bro when you was a kid when you got ass whooping and shit all that shit did was hurt. It didn't make you not do what you was going to do. You still end up doing it. You know what I'm saying? So I listened to what he said. I was like, man, yeah, kind of true. But these niggas don't know the Bible. So I was like, yeah, it's kind of true. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Man's going to the Lord. Same thing as children. So you're going to do what you're going to do regardless. All right, but that don't mean you don't fucking correct your children when they go off. All right, these niggas talking about they ain't whooping their kids' ass no more. All right, uh, I don't even know what kind of punishment they're going to implement on them, all right? I was like, y'all, in my mind, I'm thinking you niggas' children is going to grow up and be fucking monsters, all right? You niggas are already monsters, but your children are going to be worse than you, all right? That's why the Lord is going to kill you niggas, and he's going to kill your children, all right? And then uh, my other cousin that came over there, all right, this nigga, uh, you know what I'm saying? This nigga, then his wife didn't lift him and shit, all right? I ain't going to say nothing. This nigga wife lift him and shit, all right? Took his son that he had with her and shit. All behind all behind some worldly nigga shit, alright. The uh now the nigga looking stupid and shit. Alright, you know what I'm saying? We in our thirties. Alright. Mid to you know what I'm saying, me me, I'm in my early thirties, but them niggas in their mid thirties and older. Alright, this nigga then fucking in so many words, he left his wife first. Alright, and then his wife ended up leaving him when he wanted to come back, but just took the nigga family from him and shit. All right, this nigga son in a whole other state being raised by some whole other people. All right, and his wife is an Edomite, so you already know what that's gonna mean, all right? You know what I'm saying? But, hey, it's what you niggas get, all right? Because from what you were saying, had you had, had your sons and shit, you wasn't gonna teach him shit, all right? He was gonna be an unruly, wild-ass nigga, all right? Who wasn't gonna be disciplined, all right? And the Lord is breaking up households, all right? The Lord said he was gonna do that in Matthew 10, all right? The Lord said he come to set the father against the mother. I mean, not the slacker. He come to set the father against the son, the mother against the daughter, all right? The Lord said he's coming to bring a division. In Luke 12 and 49, when you read it in the NLT, it says, Yahweh shall cause a division. The Lord had come to set the world on fire, and he wished it were already burning, all right? You know what I'm saying? And, uh, that was just a short account of, you know what I'm saying, all of the, some of the, some of the nigga shit I went through. Also, you know what I'm saying? I had an uncle <laughs> who had a woman, which is my mother's sister, all right? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uncle had a problem his whole fucking life with drugs and shit, all right? But whatever, you know what I'm saying? She was with it, all right? Uh, went to the military and all that shit. This is all before I was born, but long story short, he got a settlement, all right? Before he got that settlement, and then Laura put it on us. My auntie had left him and shit, all right? She literally left him. Moved out, got her own apartment. You know what I'm saying? Left, left up. All right, for dead, pretty much, all right? But then, uh, Laura got that VA check, all right? Uncle uh, got back over $100,000, man. What you think he did? She brought her ass right back. All right, bought her ass right back. You know what I'm saying? Cause she was only with it for the money anyway. So come yesterday and shit. All right, like I said, my uncle was a drug issue and shit. 
he got a hold of some bad drugs and shit and it fucked him off, all right? He had a heart attack, and now he in the spirit world, all right? Just like that, he in the spirit world, all right? And I'm, and I'm looking at my head like, shit, you got what you wanted, didn't you? All right, you wanted to leave him and take all his money and not be with him. Now, now you got it, all right? He in the spirit world, you got what's left of the money. Be happy, you know what I'm saying? Is this, ain't that what you wanted? All right, you know what I mean? And before that even happened, she had a stroke. All right, so the Lord is bringing the judgment. All right, so our family members, it don't matter. All right, if you're a wicked-ass individual, the Lord is going to judge you. All right, and that's just some shit that, uh, you know what I'm saying, I didn't encounter here in the last week. All right, this ain't even been two weeks worth of shit. This has been about a week, all right? The niggas saying they don't want to discipline their children. All right, niggas letting, leaving, niggas leaving their wives to, to go out here and beat lover boys to some young, to some young thot ass hoes. All right, that's what the nigga was doing. The nigga was fucking off with his woman. He's been with him. Nigga been in prison. All that shit, bro. And this ain't the uplift that you might want, but I'm going to give her credit where credit is due because she stuck with that nigga, bro. Nigga was in prison. Nigga got out of prison. She stuck with the nigga the whole fucking time throughout all of that shit. Nigga want to go fuck with these young ass, thot ass hoes and shit. All right, got one of them pregnant. All right, his wife, from what he told me, his wife still was willing to, to accept him, all right? She still was cool with it. She was like, shit, I'm still here. The nigga ran out with the young bitch, all right, and stayed off with her for some months, all right? And now his wife just up and left his ass, went to a whole other state, all right? He probably ain't gonna never see, all right, his son again, all right? You know what I'm saying? The niggas is crazy. And the nigga is living. The nigga is now living with that same bitch that he left his woman for it. All right, how long you think that shit gonna last, all right? You know what I mean? All right, how long you think that's gonna last, man? You know what I'm saying? All hell is about to break loose, all right? Judgment is coming, all right? And these niggas is still doing nigga shit. And the scripture said it would be that way. It said uh, it, w it was gonna be as in the days of Noah. All right, they still gonna be giving into marriage. All right, uh... Just all of the worldly shit that these niggas is doing, all right? You know what I'm saying? Man, yeah. That's why we gotta get out of here, man. You have a boss in your side. Right as I. This is the year, all right? This is the year of the turn up. All right, and the Lord is definitely doing it, all right? This whole fucking year has been turned up from January the 1st all the way to February the 22nd, which is today. All right, year 2022, the year of your how about some y'all size. Turn up. All right. And again, Lord willing, this has been edifying, all right? I don't come out with no scripture prepared or nothing like that. I just come out and let it roll, man. All right, I'm going to read this in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 12. Let's see if But these, as natural brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things that they understand not, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. All right, that's what's coming to you two thirds. All right, verse thirteen, and shall receive the reward of unrighteousness, as they count it pleasure to riot in the daytime, spots they are and blemishes. Sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you. Having eyes full of adultery that cannot cease from sin, but gauging unstable souls. In heart that have exercised with wickedness, I mean slacking, in heart that have exercised with covetous practices, cursed children, alright? These two thirds today are those cursed children, alright? You know what I'm saying? These niggas is just fucking gone, bro. All right, grown ass men talking about they don't want to discipline their children now. All right, if you don't do it, who the fuck gonna do it? All right, I'm saying. 
These niggas got daughters and shit too. Alright. Let me see. Verse 15, which have forsaken the right way and are gone astray, following the way of Balaam, the son of Basor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. Alright? That's why uh your house I told you two third niggas of John 844, yeah, your father the devil. Alright, the devil is Esau. Alright, the Lord said you niggas are just like Edomites. Alright? You're just fucking wicked. Alright. You know what I'm saying? Like that uh that way too sexy song, you niggas is way too wicked, alright? Just way too wicked, alright. You know what I'm saying? You niggas stack your iniquities up all the way to the heavens, alright? You niggas don't have no fear of you. How about some y'all shot? You niggas just natural brute beast, alright? And that's why the Lord is gonna destroy you with these heathens, alright? We're only a few prophecies, prophecies away from you niggas getting that judgment, alright? You know what I'm saying? Primarily the implementation of that karagma, as it says in Revelation 13 and 16. All right, that karagma, which is that grain of rice, that digital all that Esau is going to put in you to make you do that digital dash, all right? I'm saying once that happens, all right, it's good. All right, it's up after that. All right, the judgment is pretty much, you know what I'm saying, going to come, all right? Water to you, how about Shmuel Shaf? Uh, deliver me from my previous lifestyle. Like, I used to hang with them niggas in. You know what I'm saying? Be around them niggas and do nigga shit with them niggas, but now I just look at them niggas like niggas. Alright? You know what I'm saying? I want to tell the niggas so bad you cow weak motherfuckers. What kind of grown man don't want to discipline his children, right? You know what I mean? Fuck them niggas, alright? That's what the Lord gonna do. He gonna do to them. Spiritually, we're awakened, all right? We, we, we see the bullshit for what it is, all right? We see the bullshit for what it is, all right? We see the bullshit for what it is, all right? The scripture tell you, uh, you see, I know the truth. And the truth shall set you free, all right? The truth of the Bible is that you saw is the devil, all right? Yahweh by some of was who the word ignorantly and willfully caused God and Jesus Christ. Only love you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And the rest of you Israelites will go back to the tribe of Jacob. Alright. The, the, the coming world is created for us. And the rest of you nations are going into captivity. Alright, that's the truth of the Bible. Alright. World War Three is about to take place. Alright. And that's going to be the last war ever fought. Alright. Ain't going to be no wars once the kingdom is established. Alright. You know what I'm saying? Scripture tell you, nations shall learn war no more. Another indicator showing that them, them fakes in that land ain't the people of that land. Because it said, uh, when the Lord's people went back to that land, all the nations was going to be there. And their weapons were going to, uh, plowshares, all right, guarding their tools and shit. But here it is, World War Three is getting ready to start. So, that's pretty much it. All right. Y'all forgive me for the win. I know it got a bit, ah, I know it got a bit loud here and there from time to time, but Lord willing, you can hear me. All right, today is February 22nd, year 2022, the year your house by some turn up, all right, and it's been exactly that, all right, and we're praying that, uh, this is the final year of our captivity, all right, so that's pretty much it, I'm 
close it out. Give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach and, of course, brother, and it's true. Peace and salutations to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, David. All right, Quam Yasharala, Wah Baba Ball, Shalak Rahim to the house of Esau, Shalak Rahim to the house of Saul. Shalom, Mike.